Hello everybody. How's everybody doing? How are, how's the levels? The music compared to my voice and things, because it's been a while since I've done a link, so there will have been an update that will have ruined all my settings. Um How are we doing? Hey Silent Service! Building ships for the German campaign, thank you very much. Hey Robo. And Paffin, who else we got? Uh, we got Fearfly on YouTube, and we've got Steve on YouTube as well. Good afternoon. Oh my goodness, Robo, thank you for the resub. Uh, permission to take commission of the HMS Thunderchart. You go ahead, my friend. You go ahead. Is it all sounding okay? Is the music okay volume? I'm not blasting your ears. Trains! Yes, trains. Trains indeed. Audio is good. I know a bit louder than music. Perfect. I don't normally stream with music. Um, it's just some royalty free stuff uh, from YouTube. I'll put a link in the description when I remember. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you've never played Nemby Rails, uh, I'll swap over to the game. Hello. Um, the, the, it's basically Google Maps. Like, there's no. There's not really much to, <laughs> to do. Um, now, the question is, of course, uh, do we go Cairo to the Cape, or do we go Cape to Cairo in terms of which way do we build build the railway? And if you don't know why I'm doing the Cape to Cairo railway, um, in the Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's British Legendary campaign, I finally managed to get territory all the way up uh, the the, uh, the coast of Africa, east coast of Africa here, uh, so we can actually put in a railway <laughs> that goes all the way up, apart from Djibouti, but we'll, ju we'll just borrow that off the French. Start from the Cape. Makes sense. Cairo to... Ca <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we've got two. Uh, I can run a poll, I think, on Twitch. Hold on. Uh, I think I have to log into Twitch again. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Not one of those fancy streamers who has it on a button. Manage poll, there we go. New poll. Uh, which way? Cairo to Cape. Cape to. All right, thank you for the follow or the sub on YouTube. Sorry, YouTubers, you, you won't get to see the poll. I haven't worked out how to do polls. I can do polls on YouTube. Surely. Also, the light in here is a bit weird. I might uh, change that. Uh, you've got a minute. Twitch. Uh, I might be able to do it. Hold on. Live. So you have to do it all through a web browser, which is really annoying. Oh, no, I know why my face is gone. Because <laughs> I don't have the game up. I've got the, the YouTube up. Uh, you in control room. Uh, yes, here we go. I can do it from here. Oh, Cape to Cairo. Boom. There we go. Can run both of them at the same time. Awesome. <laughs> you swapped over the boat. It's I've, I've worked it out. I'm doing it on both. <laughs> Watch it in 50-50, I know. It should be uh, up on both. Cairo to Cape is winning on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Eternal, for the resub. <laughs> I know. I've, I've not been streaming the whole, um, the whole of the summer holidays. I was hoping to, but it just didn't happen. 
<laughs> you're a play. Thank you very much for the sub. And you kicked off a height train as well. Um, thank you very, very much. I can't see the uh, poll results now. <laughs> it's like hype train. <laughs> uh, hold on, I should be able to see it on the desktop. Poll ended. Uh, who won? I can't see it, you twitch. <laughs> you didn't think about that. Deary me. Kyrie to Cape, I think, won. Guys are going uh, north to south. Oh, it was a draw then. <laughs> so Twitch said Cape to Cairo and YouTube said Cairo to Cape. Well, that's difficult, isn't it? I mean, the video is called Cape to Cairo. Let's go Cape to Cairo. Makes sense in my head. Um... That's all, yeah. You did. You did, to be fair. Right, uh, so let's start in Cape Town. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a train station in Cape Town somewhere. Looks like this is a railway line. Yeah, comes down here. Possibly this. Anyone who is from South Africa or can be bothered checking a map. I think this here is the train station. Uh, hmm. You can't remember which one you picked. Uh, I'm not going to bother fleshing the railway out or anything like that. It's just going to be very straightforward. Uh, okay. Stations. So we're going to go high speed um, now we don't need a super long terminal uh, probably because it's going to be the same length all the way down. Uh, what length will be okay? Probably 300. Should be enough for pretty much anything. Oh my goodness. Thank you very, very much uh, for five tier one gift subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, Cape Town. So we're going to run from Cape Town and then we're going to go, well, let's run the railway out of Cape Town. But long term, um, I think, we, oh yeah, remove to like the stream. Yes, yes, please. Uh, <laughs> thank you for reminding me. We're going to go this way. So we're going to go from Cape Town over to Port Elizabeth and then up through Durban and then we're going to keep going up the coast because th this is the territory that we owned in Ultimate Emerald up until we get to about Mogadishu and then we're going to cut up across here it's relatively flat uh, I think we might bypass Djibouti because it's French <laughs> in the game <laughs> So we'll cut up this way, up here, and then along the Red Sea, all the way up to Suez, and then we'll cut across to Cairo, basically. That's the plan. And it's gonna take forever, and it's gonna be very chill. <laughs> Ultimate Admiral General's army will suck. Yes, this is, this is very true. Um, Gonna need to go to a bridge. If you haven't seen NIMBY Rails before, by the way, it is uh, a very nice game. Which is basically, yeah, just Google Maps, but you can build trains on it. All the act all the actual trains have been removed. And you can build literally anywhere. 
here. We'll follow the uh, actual railway route because it's easier than not doing that, trying to forge our own path. There would be a station here, but we're not going to bother with uh, any of that. We're going to go for proper intercontinental rail, basically. Yeah, must cut through this this neighbourhood. Again. Looks like it's yeah coming out to the south, which is fine. We want to stick to the coast anyway. about the British campaign. Is it... Uh, uh, why do I make building everything in recite? Yes, it is because <laughs> I am Scottish. Or oh, I live in Scotland, I should say. Uh, I'm not sure I can claim to be Scottish, but um, yeah, that's why I built everything out of recite. I'm going to have to have a little tunnel. Going a bit more cross country now. There's a big hill there. It might be good to have a station down here if there is one. Yeah, look. I think, yeah, the train line comes through the <coughs> this way. So let's put in another station here. Scottish. I'm uh, by blood. I'm one quarter Scottish, but I've lived here for like Jesus. How long have I lived here? Uh, a while. <laughs> I've lived here a while. <laughs> I think we can go this way. This means we are on the wrong side of this highway to connect up to the other track. So what I might do, we have a crossover. We have crossed over here. So rather than going like this, I think we might just go straight. We should be okay. Go. We can straighten this out. <laughs> we can go over. We can go over or under. Big chopper. Uh, which one? Ah, oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that's a Scottish uh, two-handed claymore replica. You hated your time in Recite. Oh yeah, Recite is not a... Uh, Recite did Firmlin. Um, <laughs> not perhaps Scotland's most attractive uh, part. Yeah, I think if we go under the highway at this point. Back to ground level. 
we will lose a little bit of speed going through that turn, but it should shouldn't be too too bad. And then we can cut through here. Hmm. Might actually be able to run in between. Hold on. Let's get rid of this section. Down here, stops here. <laughs> the arsehole of Scotland. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Okay. Is it worth visiting, visiting Edinburgh as a tourist? Uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, Edinburgh is very tourist friendly. Uh, there's quite a lot to see in Edinburgh as well. War spikes still alive in the British campaign. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, we only lo we've only lost one capital ship, and that was the HMS Dominion. Um. Hmm. It's a big ridge. I guess we could just go through it. Where's our next stop going to be, though? Uh, where can you get the best whiskey? Um, depends. Uh, depends if you'd like uh, very, very smoky whiskey. Or if you prefer a mild kind of whiskey. Um... Yeah, depends. Uh, right, I think the next big city is going to be, yeah, over here in Port Elizabeth. Now, is there an obvious station over here? Yeah, looks like there's one. Well, we could fit one in there easily enough. Just if there's a more obvious one. Oh, it's probably right here. Right next to the docks. That would make sense. For sure. Glasgow. Um, Glasgow's okay. Uh, the main reason you would go and stay in Glasgow, though, in my opinion, is <laughs> because you uh, you want to go visit the West Coast and the Highlands. Um, and or you want to go to the Isles, and Glasgow's a good kind of start point for that kind of trip. Um, but Glasgow itself, uh, you've got like the Transport Museum and stuff like that there. But uh, overall, um, hey, it's perfectly nice, but um, if you're looking for a more touristy experience then I'd say um, Edinburgh is much more tourist friendly actually gonna rather than this section we're gonna come through this way
Really? You're not giving me a little bridge for that. Gonna make me build a viaduct. Eh? Fine. Uh, oh, it's an airport. That's fine. best I can, try and keep the curves to the level where we can stay at 350 kph. I'm going to have to go over this road. Chased out of clubs. <laughs> That actually is. <laughs> okay. 
just take in uh, Google Maps info. Build your own aircraft carriers. Yeah. See, this is one of the things. I mean, you, I, a lot of people say, oh, carriers in Ultimate Avril. And I think you could build a, a fun game with carriers in it, uh, where you build them. But it, it's not the carriers. It's the planes. Like, it's building the planes that would be the cool thing. And designing the planes. Because a carrier is side point of view. Not especially interesting. <laughs> Just make it go fast and that's and have a big flight deck and a big big hangar. That's pretty much it. And uh, AA I guess. You, know, you want it to have decent AA. But that, that that's it. Forest. Another river. I'm sure I'm going through some fairly hilly terrain here, but screw it. Bypassing Kinyasa as well. Jeez, the distance. Yeah. We'll probably be going through George. Really? Just a town called George. Well, it's good enough for a planet, it's good enough for a town. Uh. Yeah, that's a... Bloody roads. Hybrid ca battle carriers? No, definitely not. Bad idea. <laughs> oh, irrigation fields with a water arm. That makes sense, Steve. Thanks. Going past George, I think actually. Sometimes the the railway ends up going through the town, and then I'm like, well, might as well put in a. But... Uh, this uh, neighbourhood is in the way. I don't know. Sneak past it. Okay. We 
weird exits on here. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, Skylight 2. That will be coming to the channel when it's out. Because someone very kindly <laughs> bought me a pre-order copy. Thank you to my Patreons for that. Yeah, it's more of them. Yeah, it would make sense. They're like irrigation fields. Yeah, so from here we pretty much want to go well, almost straight across. As best we can. And then through Johannesburg. Yeah, I guess that would have made sense. Where is it? Oh, it's way up here. <laughs> I see what you mean. So, like, go this way. We could still do that. I mean, I could go from Port Elizabeth, and rather than going along the coast, we just go up here through Bloemfontein and uh, Bromville, then uh, Joburg, Pretoria would make more sense going that way. Thank you for telling me that. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cut from Port Elizabeth up this way. Best ca carrier conversion. Well, I mean, the thing with the carry conversion is you took a perfectly nice ship and you made it a carrier. So I, I kind of think that all carry conversions are inherently a shame. You could have had a really cool battle cruiser or something and yeah. went with a, a boring old boring old carrier yes they're super effective but um with uh flatter <laughs> nimby rails doesn't actually care about elevation i think it would be super cool if they did bring in elevation moaning about uh, but at the moment elevation doesn't really matter you can just kind of go pretty much wherever you want like a nimby rails that took in elevation into account would be super cool like I'm pretty sure this is a big ass hill you can just go straight across it.
Similarly, you can just like put a tunnel through or a viaduct over any obstacle. Oceans. Doesn't matter. Oh, courageous class. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Courageous class would have been <laughs> a silly idea, and we're better off as carriers. True. There you go. <laughs> Found the exception to the rule. Uh, poor old courageous class. Oh, come on. Uh, the stream will be running to the usual time, uh, which we oh, I should turn this light on actually. Uh, which will be uh, quarter past three. So my time, currently half one. But yeah, if you've got any questions, now's the perfect time to ask us. Newbie Rails is just very therapeutic. Just sit here, just building away. I've done like all the whole of Scotland before, um, and uh, quite a bit of Ireland. done um I've like messed around with uh doing a New Zealand railway because I thought that was quite interesting should be able to just join those up beautiful well there's the first leg done Uh, you and Drek were in the Dread Doctor Discord. When the watchers asked you to improve the courageous, they didn't carry convert them. Monitors. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. Uh, it's just the uh, the lack of armor really, really <laughs> limits the utility for me. Uh, okay, we have some issues. Go. Wrong length. I'm not used to the wrong length one. It just means I haven't put in a node where I should have done. Here we go. Okay, all fixed. Uh, so that stretch would cost $890 million. Not bad. Okay, so next we're going to go from Port Elizabeth up to uh, Blumafontein. And where are we going to put the station? Thinking uh, here ish. Don't know what's here in real life, but you're getting a station.
pretty much going north. I don't know if you saw uh, the courageous class that I built for my campaign. They're <laughs> a little bit different. They're basically a renowned, well, a very heavily armoured renown. Uh, where am I building? I am building in South Africa at the moment, and we're going to go try and go all the way up here, which is going to take more than one stream. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if we get towards the end of this stream, I will run a train just so that we can uh, test, at least test the line. Cloverleaf interchange. Hold on. Yeah, it takes time. I'm, I'm not going to bother with all the branch lanes and uh, getting feeder lines and all that stuff done because uh, it. it I find that doing the, like, suburban stuff takes so much longer than doing the long distance uh, lines. Like when I was doing the Scotland stuff, it, it's like doing all the little um, bits of Glasgow that take forever. in the middle of nowhere. Who cares about mountains? Not nearby rails. one for sure oh yeah must be a way through without needing a big bridge I'm assuming we're all at high speed along here Normally, if you're super zoomed out like this, it's uh, it's okay. Question actually, how how do you uh, prevent wildlife getting on the lines somewhere like South Africa or Africa in general? Because we're going to be going all over. How are we doing for direction? Oh, not bad. 
go to the west of this lake up here. Because in the UK, like, there's not a lot of wildlife that can just wander onto a track that would matter. Like a deer, perhaps. And all the railways are fenced anyway, but... I'm guessing it's a problem you do actually have to worry about. If you're somewhere a little bit more wild. Let's we'll see where we've got some issues that I'm going to have to go back and fix. Here we are at the dam. Uh, yes, City Skylines will return. So if you if if you if you're coming back on and you only watch my live stuff and you know you're not used to watching the, the kind of regular YouTube content, and you're wondering where I've been. It's been the summer holidays, so uh, they're over, which means I can stream again. <laughs> I can't stream when I've got the kids at home. It's just not practical. Um. So Cities One will definitely be returning, because I kind of want to get... Oh, piss off. Because I kind of want to get the uh, city that I was building finished. Or not finished, but like mostly finished. Before Skylines 2 comes out. little road you're just in the way we'll go over a funny junction seeing it a lot it must just be like a, a traffic would it even be a traffic light but just like a, a junction way across that I don't need a, a thing, surely. Okay. <laughs> Bees! Really? Huh. What a clever way to, to do it. Just put bees. Elephants don't like the bees and they stay away from the bees. I like that. That's smart. Um, we can, nah, we're going to need a little tunnel. Just to go under. Like so. And then again. Slowing down to come into the station anyway. So it doesn't matter if we've got a little bit of slow down. But there we go. There's the next section done. Right. Road slash water hits.
Lovely. Up to 1.5 billion. You have to worry about an elephant. Yeah, well, mm, yeah. Elephant train <laughs> going. 350 kilometers per hour. That's, that's going to be an accident and a half. Right. Um... way there we go right next stop is going to be Bronville I think yeah there's this nice gap right in the middle wasting of money. <laughs> I think it's a perfectly sensible amount of money. Now that people see look at what governments spend like 1.6 billion on. It won't be something cool like a railway, I tell you that much. Right, uh <laughs> It's like the House of Commons snack budget. Um do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, there's a town. Um is HS2 in the UK. <laughs> it's like slightly more than uh, I'm spending on this project, I think. It's even if they ever actually finish the damn thing. Very straightforward. I know they're classified as large light cruisers, but <laughs> that's a silly thing. <laughs> that's, that's a fundamentally silly thing they do. Which way are we going to end up coming in? Probably along this route. Is there even a train in Johannesburg? There must be trains in Johannesburg somewhere. Normally you can kind of see the, the routes they take. The trains through heavily urban areas, which and I tend to follow them because it's a bit easier, but I can't see it. Excuse me, I'm just going to go check Google uh, Maps. Okay, it's 
can uh Brown here somewhere? Must be here. But I can't see the uh, the train lines anywhere. Hmm. It's not cheating. This is Google Maps. I mean, this could be a train line here. Potentially. Yeah, that looks like one. So the station must be here somewhere. Maybe with all this gubbins. All right. Station serves 137,000 people. That's uh, impressive. So we've got, yeah, it's going to come in and go out like that. Uh, where do we go from there? Back to the coast? Probably. lose it. Like, where the hell did we even go? I mean, we could just do a tunnel. <clears throat> Goes under here. There. Uh, we want to get through all this noise somehow. Might be quickest to come out. Up here. Uh, past the uh, primary school. Something for the kids to look at. And it's a train, so they'll be happy. Thank you. Uh, I didn't see the full username there, but uh, something's. Uh, it's either cynical or cyclical philosopher. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not the name, it was which way do we go? <laughs> and uh, apparently polls on YouTube don't auto-close, so it's still up. <laughs> but yeah, I I've decided I'm going uh, south to north in terms of the build. Same way the name goes. Yeah, rebuild them completely for the courageous class. I agree! Which is, again, exactly the approach that I took in the, in the campaign. Uh, okay, should be going more, more kind of that way. Some more roll like stuff. Fix that. stuff. Thank you. 
Mm, I could probably just cut under the road, actually. Good Harari. Okay. Let's see if I can do that. Town to Johannesburg. Done. Um, so Harari's up here, isn't it? Yeah, we could go more central, but the problem is, I don't think we actually own this. In, uh, in the Dreadnought safe. We like, we like have the, we have the coast. But there's patches in here that we don't control. But uh, well, we don't have to stick to that. But yeah, we could go from Johannesburg to Harare and then up through the lakes and then down the Nile. Or we could go along the coast. Go Dar es Salaam and along the coast? Yeah. go along the coast okay in that case the next obvious place to go would actually not be uh, Bira because we're going to be cutting across this way um, Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're approaching from the south. Yeah, it looks. 
I don't know what this is. This linear strip that could be a railway. It does. It looks a bit like a railway. Coming in down this way. Right into the town centre. Well, city centre, I should say. Could put it like here. I thought on turret farm ships. Um, depends what you mean um, by turret farm. Like, if you're meaning just just having lots and lots and lots of turrets, um, that's that's you know a thing. If you want, um, it's entirely up to personal preference. But I think that generally speaking. You know, you really only need four or five turrets most of the time. There's a few designs where you can increase it, but it's often uh, not really what you want. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Yeah. Uh, so go from there to Mombasa. Yep, that makes sense. And then Nairobi, which is here. Ah, so go, so go this way to Nairobi. Yeah, we could do that. I was going to go, originally I was thinking going up to Mogadishu and then up this way and along the Red Sea. But yeah, we could instead go up this way and then go up Nile. And then from Nairobi to Addis Ababa, which is here. It's all very mountainous. <laughs> but yeah, we could do it. All right, sure, we can do that. Uh wow, this is a this is a long leg. <laughs> Mind you, we could go We could go to Harare and then Dar es Salaam. There's no reason we can't do both. Uh Kate Kyra Railway. So uh in my Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts campaign. I finally conquered territory that would link them up. And it was uh, a very silly, well, slash cool idea uh, that the British had that if they could connect the colonies in Africa, they'd be able to build a railway that went from Cape Town to Cairo. Um, I should try from the depths. Uh, yes, it does look interesting. Um, my problem is... Yeah. I've watched people playing it. Mainly still. Um, and it does look interesting. I'm just not sure I'm going to be very good at it. <laughs> We're going to go to Harari. Screw it. I think if it had ever been built, it would have been uh, pretty cool, yeah. Would have uh, certainly uh, been a really interesting project to try and try and do, foster 
African unity and all that kind of thing, if you're thinking in modern terms. It looks like a good spot for a station here. Let's see, there's clearly a train line that's all wiggly up there. Uh, we're just going to have to be a bit more um, nimby about it. And yeah, I want to go over there. Tunnel underneath. mind. Nothing important. <laughs> uh, schools, etc. We'll build you a new one. Uh, actually, I should probably go under again. randomly demolishing everything. Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, yeah, I probably should play Total War Warhammer at some point again. Trouble is, I'm like, oh, I just play Dwarfs, and then I've done that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone has a favorite faction. And once you've played it, what are you supposed to do? I'm just going to be super lazy and tunnel all the way under there. I don't care if it's expensive. There. Problem solved. <laughs> just go under it. <laughs> Chaos Dwarfs. Okay, yeah, fair. Fair. <laughs> YouTube, yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, I. <laughs> it would be funny if you approached City Skylines. That would be an interesting one. If you took an American city, which generally had no public or very little public transport, like you made an American Star City in Skylines, and then was like, right! <laughs> trains! <laughs> Just demolish everything to put the trains in. Yeah. How goes the train? Trains going, okay. Uh, I I'm really pulling back from doing Ultimate Airborne Dreadnought's life. Um, just for the way I work, I need to do about two videos a day, and I tend to do them in the morning, and then I'll stream in the afternoon because. I cut, there's so many cuts when I'm doing Dreadnoughts. 
Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll play a bit and then it will cut. Uh, and the it takes a lot longer than the episode length, if that makes any sense. Um, stop doing Dreadnoughts uh, live for that reason. Um, it's just becoming more and more of a... It, it's a pain to do it live now. I mean, I might do it again, like, every now and then as a special occasion. But if I'm doing a campaign, I really don't like doing it live. Which is weird, because I used to do all of it live. Okay. Uh, I think yeah, we had a long this kind of ridge line here. go around it. Follow this road up to this pass here. No, I'm not accepting any restrictions, thank you very much, on uh, the German campaign. You lot are getting to design all of the enemy ships, so uh, I think that's enough. <laughs> I'm not going to have any other restrictions on me, thank you very much. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I mean... ABX isn't actually my most used configuration. I think uh, I think I use ABXY more. Uh, could we put a stop in here? It'd be a nice place to have a, a little little stop. There's kind of a route through the town past this airport. I'll be back in a second.
uh, mug of pain. Or it might be mug of pane, I suppose. You guys want fun, fantastical, weird layouts? You you design them. You you build them and you send them in. I'll take great pleasure in sinking them. <laughs> no, really, I do I do appreciate you guys sending the sending the stuff in. XYZ design is uh, super awesome. Send it in. Whole point of doing a campaign like that. What are, what are these weird little things? <laughs> towns. They're towns, PN. You are just bulldozing to build your high speed railway. Um, probably. Random roads. <laughs> Damn roads. Ah, the gangets. Everybody's favourite. Oh, I've lost YouTube chat. Hold on. Sorry, YouTube. I'm back. Not been paying attention to you. Uh, Battleship series for cruisers. Cruiser League. That might be interesting. Doing a cruiser league. Um, yeah, could potentially do a cruiser league. The Battleship League was a lot of work. Fun. But, yeah, a lot of work. Uh, yeah, we want to hit up this kind of... This looks like a fold in the earth, which is probably exactly what it is, but... Um, <laughs>
kind of crease fold I was talking about. Sorry if I'm zooming out, zooming in and out too much. <laughs> well, one thing we've wanted to do for a while, and by we, I mean uh, me, stealth, me, uh, well, me, stealth, really, but also the other shipyards, champions, guys. We've wanted to for ages do like a viewer, a viewer league. Where you got, you know, it's a design competition, and you send your designs in, and you know we'll we'll fight them off against each other in like a bracket. You can't select an enemy shared design, so you can select shared design for the one you're playing, but you can't for the enemy ship and it makes it so incredibly difficult to actually do. It's incredibly annoying. comes in on this axis. Shoot. Well, that, that's what I'm meaning. Like, again, doing like a me versus stealth versus... I mean, that's what kind of what we're trying to do with the Shipyard Champions every now and then, but it, it's really hard to actually do a, uh, a fair competition like that because of how the game is structured 
Um, it, it's really the the shared design feature is a really cool idea, but it's just it just doesn't quite have enough to it. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Oh, the railway actually goes this way. Okay, well, never mind. Fine. Make that bit of tunnel. Oh my goodness, Tronical, thank you very much for the reset. 15 months. Yeah, it's very chill. Very chill. What's my mouse again? There we go. Oops, oops, oops. No, I'm making this all tunnel. That's expensive when it doesn't need to be. Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sure, yeah, thanks very much. Um, I don't know if I've got time for it at the moment, but I certainly love to uh, have a chat uh, about something we could maybe do. Uh, right, where are we going after this? Dar es Salaam. Okay, cool. Uh, so to get there, pretty much just going like this. Uh, well, kind of go through here. And this way, so. Alright. Immediately have lost the train line. Surely it goes just goes through here. It comes up this way. Sorry, the Greendale Club, whatever you are.
Didn't think I could build a railroad or a railway. Uh, why not? <laughs> I can build a railway. Uh, yeah, I guess we could stop over here. This looks like a reasonable sized place. Um, rivers here. Getting towards the big river here. <laughs> if the train doesn't go through here, it does now. <laughs> it's very much the Nimby Rails way. But yeah, relief would be such a cool feature on this game. If this existed but was 3D as well, that would be such a cool game it would be enormous <laughs> it's already like this is like a 22 gigabyte download this game some pretty spectacular scenery as well on this line. I would like there to be a station in here. Uh, yeah, we've we'll got one here.
go. Beautiful. Uh, we've got a road hit. Very nice. Valley. Uh, well, I guess we're kind of. It's kind of a weird kind of S kind of shape we're taking. Go kind of this way next. Tiny roads everywhere getting in the way. My words. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Malawi, thank you. Okay, I put it right on top of the station. There we go. Nice. Well, now it has passengers. Pretty sure this is mud I'm building over.
<laughs> yes, there is a bland tower in Scotland. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Probably uh, one named after the other. station is further to the east. Okay, the new, what, somewhere down here? Is it the new railway station in uh, Blantyre? Makes sense. Now, move 
more northward. schools all of a sudden. <laughs> Being a big pile of nothing. We're going over some savannah and then yeah a whole bunch of schools. Yeah we'll keep going up this way. Oh, that's a lake. Okay, well, we don't need to build a bridge across a lake. Oops. Um, let's go around the north edge of the lake. Time. Let's get to Dar es Salaam. I'll uh, actually get some trains on the go. Check that everything is working. It's all this. Jesus! <laughs> That's enough roads for you there.
Oh, thank you. Uh, I just, um, yeah, I'll post a link in the description at the end of the stream, but uh, yeah, I, I just Googled like royalty free <laughs> music on uh, YouTube and picked one. Because music is such an absolute minefield, especially on YouTube. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, 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 I've got an issue. Uh, da, da, da. There, all done. Dar es Salaam to Cape Town. A mere five and a half billion dollars. All right, shoot, let's see, uh, let's get a train on this. Uh, build all blueprints, boom. <laughs> uh, right, uh, lines, new line. Cape Town. That's where I find there are gaps in it. <laughs> uh, Gantz Park. Uh, and Fontaine. It's, it's, it's so many syllables in that word. Right, uh, is this Oppenheimer Park? Yeah. Do do do, Joburg. Penny or Book of Pain. Salam, and then back. Sound, yeah, yeah they're decent. Um, get to go out. Uh, base ticket price, uh, 50p, <laughs> and then I want you to pay 5p per kilometer. Um, I, yeah, we need to buy a train. Uh, filter maximum speed, high speed of three fifty. What can do that? Oh no, sorry, I want a low, the low to be 350. Yes, it's this one. 
the minister um, minisem roleva uh, white a white train does look very cool actually black and white that is a cool looking it, just the default one looks really cool that one also looks kind of cool Oh wait, no, it'll use uh, the line colour. I mean, I could make the line colour black, but... service I'm sure it'll be fine I think we're good right first train should spawn in straight away First train departure, here we go. Uh, so will it wait until 0600 tomorrow? Might do. changed in an update <laughs> train oh no the trains are running Next question. Yeah, a few. Okay, well, let's ride one. Uh, this one will be the first one to get back, I think. There we go. 
All aboard. The O nine thirty six to Dar es Salaam. Arriving two <laughs> two in the morning. <sighs> On its speed, actually. Interesting to see how long it's able to maintain full speed. Choo choo, indeed. Right, let's get ready for departure time. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's what it's like in real time. people got on board 233 okay we'll go <laughs> semi fast speed In 315, which is pretty much maximum speed for these trains, it realistically. Although, I think, uh, where's the line thing? Uh, default timings. Yeah, the cruise speed. You can uh, change this <laughs> to maximum speed. I'm sure that will cause no problems. Oops, where's my train gone? Oh, is it respawning them? God damn it. one anyway. Not quite sure why it's starting from there. But okay. Uh, so currently, if you set off at nine, <laughs> you'll arrive in the morning in Cape Town. You'll arrive in Dar es Salaam at two in the morning which is um a while yeah look maximum speed <laughs> we <Whee! laughs> 350 kph is a very fast train So it takes about, yeah, just over an hour on the Port Elizabeth run. Gonna have to go up a speed level. Uh, <laughs> we.
All seems to be working pretty well, though. Able to maintain that maximum speed for most of the trip. And there we are, three in the morning. So if we're going back the other way, three in the morning, we left. And we've only done about half of it, of course. three in the afternoon. So yeah, it's about <laughs> 12 hours <laughs> something. Bit less. Bit less. But yeah, there we go. We've done yeah, about half. Cape Town to Doris Love. And then next time, which will be well, whenever I'm able to stream next, uh, we'll go from Dar es Salaam and try and get all the way to Cairo. Um, should be very cool. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching the live stream back, let me know if you've had fun. Um, if you want to see me keep doing this, obviously we'll get one more part in. But beyond that, do you? Because <laughs> the next, the next one to try, which is an even more insane era. British idea is uh, the Singapore across India, uh, <laughs> across uh, Persia, Iraq, or and then linking up to Cairo again. So you could go Cape Town to Singapore on a train. Yes, very good. Anyway, if you want to see that, let me know. Um, other than that, I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. Uh, I might be back tomorrow, but probably not. Uh, probably Friday. I'll probably do the second part on Friday. So Friday afternoon, keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. But otherwise, enjoy, enjoy watching the trains go backwards and forwards for a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs>